at the Claremont Hotel for the launch of the Ottoman Film Festival 2018. A big event, all the, the good and the famous have turned out, and my old friend Dave Armstrong. This is, this is how many years now, Dave? This is the seventh year, and it feels like... No, actually, it, it's, it's gone really quickly and it's been amazing that we're still around most film festivals don't last past the fifth year so I think we're doing quite well and it's attracted more and more attention yeah I know you have lots of people from overseas that come in and want to take part and it also does do the business locally as well yeah well apart from the events the the fact that now we have we have up to a hundred international short films entered into our festival every year um, of a very high standard means that we know the words getting out there and as a filmmaker, I think that's what excites me most about the festival is being able to screen some fantastic short films. Um, but we've also got fantastic events as well this year and we've got a lot of supporters. And as you can see around us, some of our supporters are here tonight. Tell us about the big thing about um, a certain film that is one of my favourites of all time and 2001 uh, and the, the association that's coming up with that and stamps and all sorts of things. Well, we yeah, we've been very lucky, and I think part of it was through the connection with the Alaman Stamps. So the Alaman Stamps this year did a special collection for 2001. It's the 50th anniversary, and you and I can probably remember the first screening of that. It changed I, my life. I saw 2001 on a Cinerama screen in Newcastle was when it, I was extremely I, young. I was nine, I think, at the time. Was it, two, was it 69? Again? 69, 69, and we, I, it was just mind-blowing. And, and since then, I've only ever seen it on a small screen occasionally, and it's never done the same thing for me. This year we're seeing it in 4K on the big screen at the Broadway, but we have a very, very special guest, uh, which is Katharina Kubrick, which is Stanley Kubrick's daughter, who's going to be here to do Q&A with Mark Kermode. Um, it's one of Mark Kermode's iconic movies as well. So fortunately, I did check to make sure he did like the movie, because it would have been awful if he said that's one of my the worst. No, I mean, it is a stunning film, and to be able to see it in 4K, uh, 4,000, yeah, whatever it is, ultra, ultra HD um, is, is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. And we're very fortunate, thanks to Warner Brothers, to help us get a copy of the film. Okay. Now, Mark Kermode, you mentioned him. He's been a big champion of this event, of course. Can't miss his film review on TV. It's a must-see at quarter, si uh, quarter six every Friday night, isn't it, on BBC News? And I hope you're watching his documentary. Oh, yes. His, his BBC documentary on, uh, on film. Is How to do it and what he likes. Fantastic. Um, but he's he's a great champion for you. He's he's been our patron for a number of years now. He's 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 a lover of film and he loves the Isle of Man. He's got some connections with the Isle of Man, but he as long as we, as long as we have the film festival and keep asking him, he will come. And this year, he's 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 for us. We're very lucky on the Gaiety stage. He's doing a preview for us of um, his nationwide his UK tour called How Does It Feel, um, and he talks about his dream of being a pop star. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to be a pop star. And he'll talk about that and obviously his love of film. And then he will introduce the second part of the evening, which is a musical part of the evening. Fantastic. Now, this doesn't happen without sponsors. And I know you need to get those mentioned and, and things, because it's important that you, I think the Arts Council are of Media and some of the names you got well, on those. Yeah. Well, we've had, had ongoing support. I mean, the, the Arts Council especially support film throughout the year. Yeah. They help support our local filmmakers and the filmmaking community to actually make films, because that's part of what this festival is about. But this year we've been really lucky that Isle of Media have become our key sponsor, our key partner in this event. And it makes a lot of sense because of their, of their background and what they're doing to promote the Isle of Man's media sector. And I think it's a, it's a great partnership. And I think this is the first year of this partnership but I think as the years go on, they'll take a, a, a bigger role. Well, we haven't even really touched on half the things are happening, but it's no. all between the 5th and the 9th 5th, of September. 5th and 9th of September. Ardermanfilmfestival.com is probably the best thing to do. Have a look at that. Yeah, documentaries, movie quiz, um, I, well, uh, Mark Kermo, 2001, international short film screenings, and a gala award ceremony, and workshops, combat workshop. You need to go to the combat workshop, Paul, because you need to learn how to defend yourself on screen. <laughs> Really? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I okay. wish you well. And thanks. Uh, and you always want people to help out, don't you? As well. If, if yeah. You know, help us. Links. Any volunteers? Get in touch. If you can email Dave at alamanfilmfestival.com. Dave at alamanfilmfestival.com. If you'd like to volunteer and take part and be part of the event, uh, give us a shout. Yeah.